Hello, this is Daryl Castle with today's podcast. Today, we are talking about the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, or TTIP for short, talks about TTIP ongoing now in Washington, D.C. As we speak, it is a familiar story. Here we go again, I guess is another way to say it. Build as a trade agreement that will bring with it millions of new high-paying jobs to the United States and Europe and inject billions of dollars into their economies. We look at NAFTA and CAFTA and we remember our battles there and what we predicted would happen and what did happen. And we say, yes, we've heard this story before. Uh, Other trade agreements have left a mess in their wake. Many jobs going out, but not many jobs coming back in. Ultimately, the goal of TTIP is the merger politically and economically of the United States and Europe. The folks pushing this do not deny that. It is right there, right there for anybody to see. The promises of jobs, the promises of new money, ever alluring but never appearing. This time, as we all know, it will be different. President Obama says it will be different. This is the ultimate completion of what I have often described that happened after World War II, and that is a new country was formed by the wise men coming out of World War II. Here it is, folks, the formation of a new country, the ultimate merger between the United States and Europe, more centralized authority, more concentrated power, more loss of sovereignty, more loss of independence. The Europeans don't seem to mind this. They don't seem to mind that uh, the bureaucrats in Brussels run the European Union and that they are not elected and that they are regulated and controlled by bureaucrats who are not elected and that the European Central Bank tells them how their economies run and so forth. An ever-tightening noose around the sovereignty of each individual country. Each country squeezed. Cyprus saw it recently. So did Greece, Spain, Portugal, Italy many others. The people accept these regulations handed down by appointed and not elected bureaucrats. President Obama has asked for fast-track status on this uh, negotiations, fast-track status to complete the negotiations. This would allow the agreement to be rushed through with little or no public debate under the fast-track rules. The agreement must have an up or down vote in both House and Senate without amendment, within 90 days of being submitted by the President. No trade agreement submitted under fast-track rules has ever been rejected. Each member of the House and Senate, I remind them, and I remind you, each member of the House and Senate takes an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution gives Congress the power to regulate commerce with foreign nations, to cede that authority to uh, the president, gives power to the president that he is not constitutionally authorized to have. It is a further erosion of Congress's authority, Congress's legislative authority, Congress's regulatory authority, and the rule of law is eroded, and our way of life along with it, I would argue. Congress will be voting to allow our regulatory system uh, and, uh, with Europe's, to align it with Europe's, and thus various agencies will claim authority to override our local state uh, and federal laws, including the U.S. Constitution. Many people, of course, disagree with this assessment and argue that billions of dollars will be injected into the U.S. and European economies Things like European cars and drugs and so forth would be cheaper here as international trade and tariff barriers come down. Other countries outside Europe are concerned that their trade with the U.S. and Europe might decline because of this. But to me, all the listed benefits, even if they happen, do not outweigh the loss of control over our domestic affairs, the loss of our independence. Bottom line, folks, we just celebrated the 4th of July when we declared our independence from Europe and fought a war to get independence. Now, we seem all too ready to give it back. At least that's the way I see it. Friday, July 12, 2013.
Until next time, folks, this is Daryl Castle. Thanks for listening.